Well, it's Saturday. 12th of November, and it's 63 degrees at 7.05 in the morning. It rained overnight, but it's not raining now. But uh, Rita put Lynch. <laughs> Lynn's rain hat on, raincoat on. Uh, and what we put up with, huh? <laughs> Today is the uh, second hunter's breakfast at the snowmobile club, but we're going to pass on that this morning. It's a good meal, especially the big slice of ham. Dick slice. But, uh, three weeks in a row is a little bit much, plus we have Stoneville Club meeting on Monday, where it's a potluck dinner, we'll be making some food to bring down there. <coughs> and, uh, why I put the, uh, Put the Canadian tuxedo on and I'm already overheating. Gonna open up the buttons here. Yep. No critters on the uh cellular game farmers overnight. Did you go out bird hunting yesterday? Heard one. Saw a second one like five minutes later. Took a shot, but here's uh, some uh, Heavy brush. I thought I got him, but uh, went into it up where he was. He was gone. Not even feathers on the ground, so he got lucky. We went to town, and on the way back down the road, just. Uh, just north of uh, the shared driveway that Antonio Ralph and Kevin own. There's a, a bird walked from my property. Just walked across the road nice and easy. Popped up the embankment. Spread out his neck and tail feathers and strutting the stuff and walking away like, haha. 
They didn't have my shotgun with me. Uh, at least I'm seeing birds now. <clears throat> Clint, come here, Clint. Let me take this off your head. Okay, is that better? Yeah. Even more of the metal peeled off the roof. Or peeled up on the roof. And it looks like the rig cap is hanging off the left side of the building now. It was supposed to rain all day, so nice to be able to get here with Flynn and not be getting soaked. <clears throat> I'm sure Flynn's kicking up some mud on his legs. But in town. There's still six out of the tents that on. At Raymond's and Smith's it's still six dollars. Didn't drive past the uh, the Gulf by the post office, so I don't know what it is over there. told me that the uh, the lot they harvested on Tar Ridge, I guess about 100 feet up west on Tar Ridge, there's an acres away, or acres away I should say, I always get that confused, acres away, real estate sign, but uh, has been put on their site yet. 
That's the lot that uh, got from New Jersey owned. I can't remember his last name, but it was Ben and Beth. They're friends of my brother Tom. He's got a place now up in uh, Winter Petlock. So I don't think he's been up there in many years. He bought the lot here on Tar Ridge to do something, but then he found a house. Whoa! Whoa! I guess we had some, uh, some more rain than I thought we were going to have. Sinking in the mud here. So it's Flynn. Here, firmer ground. Keep forgetting to pick up this iced tea bottle. When we went to town yesterday, I did take the uh, recycling with me. And of course, I forgot to take the stuff that's in the barn, the stuff that I collect off the road. Come on, man. Who would think at 63 it'd be too hot? <clears throat> well, you don't have to worry about dust. Not all this mud caking up underneath the trash of your truck. Flynn's going to take care of business this morning. He looks like he wants to get home and have his treats. Or maybe just get the raincoat off. Boy, that mud is kicking up on us. Behind his left front leg.
Well, in about two weeks. They, uh, we'll have a new neighbor. If, they, if their plans go through, we'll have a new neighbor. His, he, his wife and their eight-year-old up the street here, up the road. We're going to head to New Jersey a week from tomorrow for a week or eight days. Thanksgiving. L.L. Bean flannel lined jeans on too. They're a little toasty this one too. Yep, I'm overdressed. <coughs> Last year, Flynn and I would walk by here and we'd scare up partridge dinner on these apple trees. All the time. Not this year. I haven't seen one bird up here. <clears throat> I don't know how much rain we got, but it's a pretty, pretty good sized puddle there. It was up around 5 o'clock, I could hear it coming down, blowing against the side of the house. Before it gets really cold, I gotta change that sensor on the weather station. Because she's not reporting. Not reporting the temperature or the uh, <coughs> humidity. Wind chill. So the weather station is not functioning properly, if at all. Take a walk down the North Drive here. See if Flynn takes care of business, or whether he just wants to get back to the house. Flynn, are you down here? Flynn, down here? This way? No. You always take care of business in the morning, bud. Come on. No? All right. I know you went last night. <clears throat> right. Let's go get treats. <clears throat>
Блин, цвета. to say. I put a cover on the wood, but it looks like it's blown off. <clears throat> Excellent. Thanks for watching.